Former Russian figure skater Katerina Gerbold believes 2022 Olympic silver medalist Alexandra Trusova can improve her results. I think that she will still fight, once she has decided to continue her career. She just needs to be given a little time to get used to age-related changes, to bring herself back on track. Plus, you shouldn't forget that she changed her coach, it's still a certain stress, and it takes time to work together and give some kind of result. Not much time has passed yet, but I personally see that she has lost weight, and, in principle, she is somehow beginning to transform, to tighten her physical and emotional shape. I think you need to give her a little time, and she will come to her optimal shape, show a decent result. She became more graceful, more tender. This is visible, and this is a big plus for her skating. In the individual tournament, Camilla Voliva won easily. Do you think it's deserved? Some people think that instead of Camilla, Sofia Akativa should have gone to the final. Judging is not my job. If the judges decided so, then it was the right decision. Camilla has her pluses, her minuses, but it means that today she looked more confident, maybe, from some side, more worthy. If they both landed, as they say, there are no comrades for the taste and color. Someone liked this performance more, someone else. There are rules for which they give bonuses, for which they put minuses. I think that each of them knew this and tried to score more points on the entries and exits. Another athlete who took risks in the team tournament was Elizaveta Tuktamasheva. How do you rate her quad toe loop attempts? Unfortunately, this time it did not work out, but I saw that in training she had successful attempts. I think it's great that she went for them. She needs to show that she also has quads in her arsenal. Yes, to date it has not worked out, but there will still be competitions, maybe it will work out there. In any case, such elements need to be tested somewhere, and it's great that such a tournament took place, where you can learn how to perform such elements in a competitive environment. Will Lisa be able to force a fight on Camilla? I think that everything can be because this is a sport, this is ice. Ice is still a slippery surface, absolutely everything happens, so no one needs to be written off. Moreover, we have many young girls, less experienced, but no less talented than Camilla and Lisa. Therefore, I think that in any case, the fight at the Russian Championship will be very interesting. Each of the skaters hopes to impose a fight on each other. Did the team of the most inexperienced coach, Yevgeny Plushenko, win, came as a surprise to you? I would not call Plushenko inexperienced. Still, this is a person who personally went a long way in sports with such an experienced coach as Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin. In any case, we adopt experience from our coaches, so I would not call Zhenya inexperienced. He knows a lot, he went through a lot himself and, in principle, has been training for several days. I think he has enough experience and practice both in coaching and sports. Perhaps the advantage was on his side somewhere, said Gerbolt. The first competitive day of the Grand Prix Finals was closed by single skaters. All men planned two quadruple jumps in the short program, which added intrigue. After all, their stability is a real figure skating lottery. And for the first time in the season, the best of the best met on the same ice. Although this year's final partly resembles the championship of Japan, four of the six participants represent this country, with the leader, everything turned out to be predictable. The Japanese Seima Uno came to Turin as a favorite and did not let us down. I was a little surprised by the arrangement of the jumps, after a sheet quadruple flip, Uno did not do a cascading tolu, and after a quad tolu he could only attach a double. The world champion often makes such a mistake. It is not very clear why not to make a cascade on a successful first jump. In the rest, an excellent rental of Sema. The last rotation let us down a little, where the skater did not finish one of the positions and received only the third level of difficulty. 99.99 .99 points is a beautiful number. Surprisingly, Uno didn't break the 100 mark, mostly because of his own referee. The Japanese put the athlete one of the lowest marks, Soda Yamamoto showed the only clean skating on the Palavala ice. For the short program, 
the skater chose the legendary track yesterday in an unusual arrangement. Although it was worth it to complicate the musical accompaniment. The cover strikes the ears of the audience, however, in a bad way. Soda had no problems with jumps, two quads, salcho and tolu, including a 4-3 combination, a trixel. On the skate, Yamamoto falls far short of Uno, so due to the difference in the components, he remained in second place, 94.86 points. Kaomiura has become a real dark horse of the international season. The 17-year-old debutante skated brilliantly twice at the Grand Prix stages. Unfortunately, the success was not repeated. Miura unexpectedly fell on a quad salcho triple tolup combo, instantly dropping about 8 points. It's funny that his score for the components turned out to be exactly the same as Yamamoto's, up to 100. For higher, Miura scored 87.07 points and is in third position. After half a year of throwing between the USA and Italy, Daniel Grassel finally officially returned to Lorenzo Magri. The skater announced the transition shortly before the start of the final, and in Palaval he was already taken out by an Italian specialist. Initially, Daniel planned two quadruple jumps in the short, but the fall on the quad lets forced the athlete to reconsider this idea. As a result, Grassel decided to play it safe with a 3-3 cascade of Lutz and Tolup. True, it was not possible to get good bonuses for him because of an unclear edge on the first jump. As a result, the Italian received a modest 80.40 points on home ice and remained fourth. Ilya Malinin was the last to perform, as he qualified for the final with the best result. The American wonderkin did not have a good rental, to put it mildly. After a cascade of quad toloop triple toloop Malinin flew into a step out. A similar error came out on the triplexel, only with the hand touching the ice, perhaps Ilya trained the quadruple axle a lot and overdid it with the jump height. 80.10 points, 5th place. At the Finnish Grand Prix, he injured his leg, which still worries the skater. In the freestyle, the fight will start almost anew. Winning back 10 to 15 points in the men's singles is a very real task. Components can save only Uno, the rest of the rating corridor is approximately the same. So everything will depend on the cleanliness of skating. Malinin's injury forced Ilya to abandon the quad Lutz, he definitely won't be in the free program. However, a quad axle, if the American takes risks, and other quads can help him get to the top 3. Also in the finals of the ISU Grand Prix series in figure skating in Turin, Italy, single girls perform short programs. With a score of 69.66, the Japanese figure skater Mao Shimada took the lead, the gap from her closest pursuers is less than one point. The second and third positions are taken by the representatives of South Korea, Jia Shin, 69.11, and Shane Kim, 66.71, respectively. From December 8 to 11, Turin, Italy will host the finals of the Grand Prix in figure skating of the 2022-23 season. The figure skaters will present their free program on Saturday December 10.